guys, welcome back to the workshop. Now, nice, short, simple video for you today. I just thought I'd share what I'm up to in the workshop. So I want to improve the dust collection around my miter saw. So one of my biggest pet peeves with woodworking is the dust that it produces and health is wealth at the end of the day. So anything I can do to help capture some of that dust and improve the dust extraction in the workshop, I'm going to try it. So the two biggest offenders left in my workshop are my miter saw and my sanding. I've sorted out the sanding, but that'll be in a later video. So I wanna just try and improve the uh, miter saw station dust collection. Now, I've put a gully in there in a previous video. I've built this station. It has really improved the dust collection of the miter saw, but some still escapes out into the air. I wanna try and capture some more of that if I can. So, what I'm gonna do is I have an old gazebo. I was clearing out a shed. I was doing some recycling stuff. So I said, rather than throw this out, I'm gonna make a little cowl to go over this. Nice and simple. It's just a quick idea I said I'd share with you guys you can actually buy um, fabric little tents like this that go over um, miter saws but I have a, an old gazebo that was been thrown into the skip so I said why not recycle it repurpose it and try and make a better dust extraction for our miter saw station so nice quick handy video let's just jump in and do it oh and uh, the reason I'm hobbling around I'm recovering from knee surgery so if you're watching this a year from now that's why hopefully it'll be better by then Okay, so very briefly, just run you through my current setup. So I've built this miter saw station. It's actually one of my most popular videos. It's a nice, handy, easy build, nice, simple construction from four by twos or two by fours. Gives you some nice storage and some nice worktops and a place to put your miter saw and help capture some of that dust that comes off the miter saw. So I have a gully down here that captures a lot of the dust. It pulls a hell of a lot of air straight down. That's connected to my uh, main dust extraction system. I'm also using a shop vac onto the ports of the miter saw as well. And that actually helps but it still does kick out a good bit of dust and when dust starts to gather around a miter saw and that blade spins up it produces a lot of air and it tends to kick dust everywhere so that's the problem and it kind of kicks it out into the atmosphere and uh, you don't want to be breathing that stuff in so I'm going to try and keep some of that contained in here that's the whole point of this idea and like I said you can buy actual tents for your miter saw but we might as well make our own one and people usually have an old tent or something thrown in a shed and uh, we all have things like that so let's recycle and uh, see if we can make this better and we might have to add a light here as well because it's going to get quite kind of dark but we'll do that in this video so let's rock on and get going okay so this is what I'm going to be using it is literally just an old gazebo it's pretty torn up I got a good few years out of this but uh, it's well past it's a used by date now at this stage and uh, like I said it was just going in the skip so why not recycle and repurpose and reuse some material so that's what we're going to do um, we're just going to get a stick of scissors to this and cut it up the corner points I want to keep this is where it goes down the legs of the gazebo and that's going to be perfect right for the corner of my miter saw station so let's have a look okay so this is going to be the general idea if I can find the corner which is right here so that's where it's all stitched together on the corner and that should sit right on that piece of uh, plywood there. Throw this across. It's already ripping it full of holes, so uh, we're gonna have to cut it with the scissors. But that should sit in there nicely and at least give us one half of this cowl. And we can fix that down there. So the whole idea being is we have a kind of a nice fabric cowl over this a lot of people build these with um, solid wood but you're really limiting the use and capacity of your miter saw um, if you're doing straight up and down cuts all day then that's fine but if you want to use all the angles then having something like this is a better option but uh, yeah we can see there there's the corner piece that's going to go into the plywood we have a nice arch in it here so we're going to cut this section out and then we cut another section from the other side and try and stitch this together Okay, so I just want to get the corner sections off this and you can see there's already a big rip and a big hole in this so uh, we don't have to be too neat about this I'm just going to go somewhere across here and then take another side off as well just like that 
Okay, so something like that. That's kind of one side where one leg is. We'll just catch another one and overlap it here and have another leg here so the corner goes on here and we make du duct tape it together. Just get a few staples in it. Now this stuff will rip like crazy. As soon as you put a hole in that, it'll just tear itself to pieces. So any staples I have to put in will have to be along the stitched seam. So we stitch seam here and here. So we might dress some staples down the side just to get it in place. And uh, we should have a nice arch either side and that should help just keep some of the dust in there, hopefully. Okay, so I have the other side cut. So I'm gonna overlap the main side on top of this one. And uh, I have a stitched seam running across here. So that's where I'm gonna put my staples. Just get one in there. Nice and easy for now. One in there. Obviously putting a stitch through that or a staple through that is not gonna hold because as soon as you put a hole in that, like I said, it's just gonna tear itself to pieces. But uh, we should be able to staple it down the side then as well. Just for the side, I'm gonna use the existing tie points. Why not, they're there. And uh, we just fold this in and get some clips or some staples in down the side here, just to neaten it up a small bit. And again, I'm going through the seam. Just like that. Okay, so again, I just overlapped the first piece I cut. And we're just gonna tidy up this corner, dress it all up, make it look nice and neat. Get a few extra staples in it, and there's not much more to it than that. And that should aid in our dust extraction. All things going well. Okay guys, there we go. It couldn't be more simple than that. It's just a nice cowl, just to help to keep some of the dust in here and let the dust extraction do its job. Now, it's obviously created some shadows. It's a little bit dark in there. So I just have a simple LED strip light. It's just the one you plug in. It has a built-in switch on it. So we're just gonna screw that up inside in here just to provide a bit of light in here and make it easier to see our cut marks and our lines and stuff like that, that's all. So very, very cost-effective and simple. Let's screw it up. Okay guys, so just a very basic, nice LED strip light. It comes flexed with a plug on it, so just get the cable in and I've just plugged it in over there. Nice and simple, like I said, they have a built-in switch on them. These things are relatively cheap. And it's just to add a little bit of light because we've cut off some light now by putting the cowl around it so we can see what we're doing. So that's it, nice and simple. Let's give it a bash. Okay guys, that's working pretty well. There's a massive amount of airflow down here. Just to give you guys a quick idea, if I drop that tissue, there you go. That's gone all the way back to the dust extractor there now, so it pulls a hell of a lot of air, so it should help. And any little bit that we can add to this is a bonus. Okay guys, there we go. A very simple little project for you today. Just a simple idea I had. I said I'd share with you guys, see what you guys think. Um, again, if you have an old tent, an old gazebo, some fabric, you wanna get some improved dust extraction around your miter saw station, uh, it's a nice simple idea. It costs absolutely nothing. And it's a quick little improvement you can make to your miter saw. And anything we can do to improve the dust extraction, even though it's not 100% effective, but any incremental improvements are worth doing. Again, health is wealth. And uh, this should help just contain some of that dust in the air while all that airflow flowing down there should pull the fine dust out of the air. And the nice thing about this is we still have the full use of our miter saw so we can bevel left and right. Again, we have, like I say, we have the full use, all our angles. I see a few guys, they build in a solid wooden frame around their miter saw. That's all well and good if you're just doing straight cuts, zero or 90 degree cuts, straight up and down, then yes, you could completely build in your miter saw. But if you want the full use and all the angles of your miter saw, this is a good option to go with. And again, we have the wireless controls to hand for our dust extraction. Nice handy little light that's just plugged in over there. Very simple, no skills required, a few staples and an old gazebo. 
there we go. <laughs> okay, so that's it for this video, guys. Keep it nice and short and sweet. Just a simple little recycle, upcycle project for you today. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, guys, give the video a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Any comments, any questions you have, leave them below. Let me know what you guys think. What would you do? What would you add to your miter saw? If you think this is a good idea, hopefully you've got something from the video. And uh, if you're new here, think about subscribing. There'll be more workshop projects coming up. And for now, I'm going to go put, put the feet up and hobble out of here. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take it easy.